Do you remember back in March of 2023? We're still in 2023, but back in March, I said, let's make some cakeies. If you don't remember, if you haven't seen the video, it will be linked in the description. Well, fast forward to September of the same year, six months later, result, and we're gonna pot them up today. And this is my handy dandy humidity chamber. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Very rudimentary, but I put all the canes of the Dendrobium polyanthum orchid that were a little bit sus at their bases, but green along the entire structure into a very, very high humidity environment. And I also said, let's make some cakeies. The time has come. I need to get them out. I've got to show them to you. But not all canes were successful. As you can see, there's probably, well, hopefully you can see, there's a shriveling, yellowing little sliver of something in there. And that promptly dried up on us. Nothing came out of this one. But I had two others that failed. So I was thinking, hey, polyanthem, you are supposed to be a propagating machine because your canes desiccate at the base. They fall off the orchid fall onto whatever and eventually cakeys will grow and you start a new plant. What are you doing? Why are my canes desiccating? Anyway, in culture things are always a little bit different than what mother nature has to offer. But here we are. Look at this cutie here. I need to get these into a pot or at least suspended over a pot so that we don't lose them. And I also have this one, which is further along when it comes to the leaves. It's formed, not so much on the root front, but we're getting to it on time. So hopefully the roots will grow into the pot. And I have another one, but oof, that one is very, very far away from doing anything. Well, maybe we should get this into a pot as well, but that would mean cutting, huh? Cutting or laying the cakey down? We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I have a plan for the first two. I'll have a little think about this one. And then I have two canes here that can't make up their minds if they want to stay or go. We'll just leave them. They're not in the way for the time being because I have to get new cellophane anyway and cover all this up again. All I've been doing is keeping the base wet. Sometimes the level of the water was a little higher, depending if I was too heavy handed, but the sphagnum moss, the little bit that I have at the bottom there, that never went dry. Besides that, I had also a very high humidity summer. So all in all, at least we got ourselves something right. Now, it's a fiddle again. Sometimes it would be nice to have orchids that you don't have to fiddle so much with, but you know what? This is a nice fiddle. I've already prepared my pot here. <laughs> it's a semi-hydro setup. I've got small to medium-sized lava rock here. That's what I would like the keikis to grow their roots into. And I've already put my support in because yeah, <laughs> we're gonna need that. So what the plan is to actually tie these two together at the base so that the base of the keikis kind of are even so that when we put them into the pot and tie them to the support it's all even stevens and not that complicated i have this handy dandy velcro from trisha's orchid life sent all the way from the united states because we don't get this kind of fancy stuff here and i have to just watch what my keikis are doing because clearly they turn. They're not behaving, but what am I expecting? Babies don't behave straight away. We have to train them, right? The mother plant is mounted. So this is only to get them started so that I don't lose the active roots so that we can grow them to strength. And then maybe they can go on their own little mount. Keep an eye on what you're doing at the base there. Keep an eye on the root tips there. Good grief. You need 360 degree vision here all the time. <laughs> Okay, so this Velcro is very, very soft and I can be a little bit more tough on how tight I'm trying to get these together. Then, you know, in theory, it's pretty simple. The plan was, is to tie the canes with the keikis onto the support. And I'm gonna take out a little bit of lava rock 
because I don't want any abrasions on my root tips. We'll do that again. Tie the keikis to the support. <laughs> three times the charm. Take three. Tie the cades to the support. No, this is not going to work. This is far too slippery. They're moving around way too much. Oh, I so wanted to use my Velcro. But anyway, it's always handy to have it. Thank you again, Trisha's Orchid Life, for this awesome, awesome material. But for the keikis, it's far too slippery. So I have found myself a little bit of wire that is much more forgiving than the other one that I have. It's more bendy bendy and softy softy. And I'm gonna use that instead. The bases of the keikis were just flopping around all over the place and I couldn't risk that. I filled up with the tiniest, tiniest of lava rock. I mean, literally the shards that I collect from any kind of media sorting that I do when it comes to lava rock. I save all that for instances like this, when there are very fine roots that they themselves are not yet absorbing water. These little keikis are still very dependent on the canes. And for that reason, I am not addressing the third one that we saw at the tippy top of the cane. Doing it with these two is easy because they are at the base of the cane and I can use the cane as a support. And here they are all watered in, all nice and ready to go. The baby training has begun because while they were in their container, yes, the light source was in one direction. I was hoping to be able to anticipate an upright growth from them initially, but now I'm going to have to make sure that their light source is still in the same direction, not coming from this side, just so that they don't keel over. I do not want aerial roots at this point in time. And they are not going to be living outdoors, that is for sure. Mama plant lives outdoors in my climate all year round, but these guys will have to be babied inside. So the thought process for the other one was maybe just to lay the cane across the top of one of these little ridges here, wedge it in, let the roots grow. I am not convinced that is something I can still do at a later stage. I don't have to do that today. My main focus today was to get these guys into the pot and growing before I lose the roots. So I hope that this was fun. There should have been a blooper cam involved, but I hope I showed you something that you can then also apply in your collection, especially the successful growth of how to grow keikis from a single cane that is removed from the mother plant. I appreciate that you watched this video to the end. It gives me the opportunity to thank you. Please like the video. I would appreciate that as well. And take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Follow the progress of the keikis and many other keikis in my collection. <laughs> One of those projects being a Dendrobium Aphyllum Monster Mount. This is a long-term project. I just can't help myself. I want more. So I wish you a beautiful day on that one condition though, please that you stay safe. Take care, bye.